This is Austin and welcome to the third and final video in the Intro to Formstack webinar series. Now that you have your form built, I'll show you how to actually use that form. There are a few different methods for using your form. The first is linking to it and having us host it for you. Uh, you can provide the link in an email or put it on your web page and send people to your form, have them fill it out there. Since it won't be on your website, you may want to customize the look and you can do that by using a style template where you can add your logo, uh, custom colors, change font sizes, um, set any other parameters that you want to change. The second method is to use a JavaScript embed code that we provide. Um, you can copy and paste this code into your HTML of your website and your form will pick up any CSS that your website uses so it will blend seamlessly in with the rest of your uh, site. You can also add your form to your TypePad blog by installing the Formstack widget. You also have access to the full HTML. Uh, we really don't recommend this for anyone that doesn't have a strong knowledge of HTML. Uh, if you change certain parts of the code, it uh, can stop your form from working. So it's just really recommended for people that have a strong background in HTML. Another advanced feature is form forwarding. Uh, you're able to pre-populate fields based on information from one form or application and pre-populate fields in another form. Again, this is recommended for only those with strong HTML knowledge. And you can find more information about this in the full HTML uh, if you visit support.formstack.com and search for uh, form pre-populating or pre-populating fields. This concludes our Intro to Formstack webinar series. Uh, for more resources, please visit support.formstack.com and also be sure to check out some of our other tutorial videos.